Good evening, everyone. It is uh, Thursday evening, the what is it, the seventh or eighth? Eight. April eighth. So, um, hope you guys are having a great night. Uh, Hi, we had a very productive day. Got a lot of stuff done. Got a couple things we didn't get to, but uh, we got so much done today that I think we're going to be able to get to them tomorrow. So, that's the motto for Arizona. If we don't get to it today, we'll get to it tomorrow. Uh, oh, you're busy. Huh? It's fuzzy. Yeah, I need to shave. I think it shows. I think it's the lighting. No, it's not it's the, the lighting. It's the lighting. Yeah. Anyway, um, gosh, we get. Uh, I want to go over a couple things, but I want to go over a couple things. But we're gonna let a few people come in here. Thanks uh, so much for all the great comments on our videos Hi, lately. Everybody. Um, everybody seemed to like those little rubber sander contour things. And uh, those things are neat. I think I'm going to use those a lot more. I uh, filmed a video today that you guys will see on Monday. A new kind of different project for a local person. Um, and the one on the painting, uh, you know, with the spray can. And uh, anyway, uh, the one on the painting, I'm going to be uh, answering a question on that today. So uh, before we get into that, I, we've got another package. Who did? Oh, we got a package today in the mail, a big box, had no idea what was inside, but it was from our friend Stephen Frum. You know, he made the Frum thumb on the oh, wall back there. there. Wait a minute, up there. Yep. There it is, Frum thumb. And so um, we didn't have any idea what, uh, what he sent us, but man, we were just blown away by the gifts from Stephen. So first off, I'll show you these so this is a, a picture of dad and Vicky and I obviously so he blew this picture up oops I got the wrong picture on the wrong thing so he blew this picture up and like that and look what he did he made a puzzle out of it he literally this this is a eighth inch a looks like song. looks like eighth inch Baltic birch and he made a jigsaw puzzle out of our uh, out of our picture and as a another one he made one out of our Dave Signs logo check that out that's just so cool I just uh, I think it's so cool I don't know exactly what we're gonna do with them but I think we ought to put them in a frame yeah, wouldn't yeah. you think yeah I think so that one's not letting loose oh that's a really tight fit anyway Steven oh my gosh just crazy but uh, Stephen obviously is a master scroll saw guy. Now I can't get this Hi, Carmen. back in here. Carmen's here? Yeah. Hey, Carmen. Um, uh, You've never been right. patient with puzzles. No, I'll, put, I'll deal with that later. And anyway, so then he, um, are you going to take those aside? You're going to put that piece back in there. So then uh, also... He sent us some really cool scroll saw stuff. So check out that Vikings logo. So this is a piece of poplar. So that's one. <laughs> Steven says you break it, Eric. You make the next one. <laughs> check out that. You got him upside down. Oh, is he upside down? I guess he is. Ta-da. <laughs> Look at that. That is so cool. So that's a piece of cedar. And then another largemouth bass, uh, another piece of poplar. Just amazing the amount of work that goes into those. Steven, I, I'm just blown away. Man, you're just too kind, buddy. And then I think this one's for Vicky. My wings. I finally yeah. got my wings. Yeah. <laughs> the bell rung. Yeah. Anyway, um, Steven, we're just blown away, man. The, just Your talent is amazing. Um, and <laughs> Shirley Hill thing says, what? Who did? Wow, Shirley. Yeah. Yeah, crazy. That's what we said, uh, Shirley. Absolutely. That's going to go on the wall in my new office. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, that's for Vicky's new office wall. And I'll put these up above my desk uh, on my wall. Um, but, man, thank you so much, Stephen. You're so generous. We so appreciate it. And uh, you obviously are a master with that scroll saw. Gosh. I wouldn't even attempt anything like that. 
just beautiful stuff. So we um, we are blessed that you know that we uh, we get gifts like this, and we never take them for granted. We always uh, absolutely appreciate them, and and I hope we always will have time to show them on the, on video. So thank you again, Stephen. Just uh, absolutely stunning. I, I love your work. So and Dad was uh, raving over it earlier as well. Okay, so, um, oh, yeah, and the other thing that he sent. Oh, and, yeah, the, the little Montana. And the yeah, Denver, so this yeah. is a, a Montana. I'm not sure if that, I think yeah, that's, that's the right. way. Mm -hmm. I think that's the correct way. And then I think, is Stephen here? He said it's a Thunderbird. It's a Thunderbird. Okay. A Thunderbird. Okay. Looks kind of like a tree, but <laughs> like an oak tree. But um, I'll take your word for it, Stephen. So I don't know if we were supposed to do something with these. But those are really cool. Super I'll find thin. To do with them. Super thin. Yeah, I bet. You, yeah, that's true. You've got several different things you could do with those. Put those. Those will look good in coasters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh, Doug Powell says 39 degrees, raining and wind blowing. Ah, oh, Doug. Oh, you had it upside down. He said. I had the, uh, Thunderbird. the Thunderbird upside down. Why? Well, yeah, I guess that would be upside down if that's a Thunderbird. That makes sense. Huh. Sorry about that. Stephen, uh, Doug, man, that's crazy. Uh, it should be spring there by now. Anyway, all right, so let's move on. Uh, first question, and actually it's a kind of a, oh, no, before I do that, I got, I want to show you guys uh, something that uh, Luke Schultz sent me, a picture Hi, that he sent me. <clears throat> if you guys remember a video I did not too long ago, I had my, my little Tupperware bin thing with all my star bond in it and a couple of them had fallen over and it was just a mess it was just a, a huge mess so uh luke got the idea to make a little star bond glue organizer oh cool that's the way it looks there but look at it in the box oh check that out so it's very cool so i don't know if you can tell but there's two like uh little dowels right here that hold the accelerator can in place and then uh, a place for all of the the glues and the, the lids. Isn't that cool? Great oh, job, Steven Luke. Oh, Stephen said toss those in a drawer to keep the bugs out. Cedar. Oh, cedar. Well, we don't really have bugs out here. Though. Yeah, right. Well, but uh, anyway, we don't have uh, mosquitoes for sure. But anyway, uh, great job, Luke. Those are cool, man. That's what a, a great idea. idea. Great idea for that uh, organizer. I'm going to have to do something like that. All right, so uh, the question, uh, which is a multi, I, I'm going to read this thing. It's a you know a couple paragraphs long. So Jeff said, I used my critter for a couple days ago uh, to spray some poly on some projects I'm finishing up. I was super happy with why with the way it sprayed, and found myself pretty hopeful about the poly work in the future. But things went south. Then things went south, uh, to say the least. I either didn't wait long enough to flip over my work or when I sprayed the edges, because uh, I got a spray under the piece and caused a halo around the two by four blocks that I had my project sitting on. Uh, that's not the bad part. I sanded them down to an even coat and set up everything to spray them again yesterday. I should note that I did rinse my sprayer out with mineral spirits, so that sounds like he was using oil base. Uh, mineral spirits uh, thoroughly when I was done the first time. So I go ahead and get ready to spray again and notice my poly had set up a bit. So I scraped the gel out of the jar and proceeded to spray my work. The coat was not evenly distributed and in some cases it didn't even spray. So I rinsed it with mineral spirits again, thinned my poly a little, checked my PSI at 50 and tried again. Same problem. I can't figure out why it won't, why um, it will spray the mineral spirits without issue but won't spray the poly. I plan on taking the whole thing apart to see if there's something caught in the tube or the nozzle, mm -hmm. but was wondering if you ever ran into this issue. So, <clears throat> the short answer is yes, I have run into that. So, in regard, so the critter sprayer, in case you guys don't know what that is, this has just got water in it. This is a critter sprayer. Again, I probably... Does that one have spring? Uh, this one does <laughs> have a spring, yes. Uh, so Sorry, this hooks Carmen, up. I couldn't help myself. This hooks up to the air, and um, then the the material comes out of here. 
This is just a regular mason jar, a big uh, mason jar. And then the, um, it, it's a siphon sprayer that pulls the material out. So it's a great little tool. I love this thing. It's the only way I really spray my signs or anything. Um, but it, it, it does take there. You can have issues with it. Now, in regards to the first thing that uh, Jeff was talking about, um, I never set my projects. I always spray both sides unless it's a two-sided sign. Unless I'm carved, uh, it's carved on both sides. But if it's only carved on one side, but um, I learned long ago not to set that thing on uh, one by twos or two by fours. So I probably the best thing to set them on are these little paint pyramids. That way you've got, that's the only part that's touching the back of the sign and you won't have any problem with it sticking. Either that or this is a, somebody passed this uh, tip on to us years ago. It's just, just carpet tack strip. And we just cut them into, you know, 12 inch pieces or thereabouts. And then, um, you know, your sign can set on this side or on this side, but I generally set it on this side. And uh, then you never have, uh, you never have anything sticking. So that's the first, the first thing. And I've already answered Jeff on this, although he may be on here. I don't know, but. So the second part of the spraying, um, you guys know that for years um, I have sprayed with uh, Helmsman uh, Spar Urethane. This is one that's been sitting around for a while. <laughs> and you can see the issue. Um, the, it creates a film in there. This is full strength. It creates a film in there. And then, um, you know, you got to bust the film and then you, you can get down to some material down here. I just kept that for, I, I don't use that particular one anymore. But what I discovered uh, last year, this is Helmsman Spar Urethane. Now it's got a little bit of a, a film there, but this is thin 20%. And I've got a date marked on here, 10-9 um, of 2020. So that was back in what, October. Um, and uh, it still looks pretty thin. It still does have a little bit of a skin on there, but nothing obviously compared to that. So uh, my advice is uh, on the Helmsman um, and actually on the Halcyon, I've got some of that here too. On the Halcyon, I don't have, now this is water-based, this is oil-based. On the Halcyon, I don't have any sign of any film on there, but I never do because it's water-based. But with the oil-based, you generally will get a film like that unless you somehow get all the air out of it, which I've never been able to quite master that. So going backwards, let me say right now, I am not a finishing expert. I'm, I don't pretend to be. I just do what I do and somehow I, I just work through it until I make it make it work for me. But here's the big trick that I found uh, when I thinned this stuff and even with the Halcyon, before I, uh, before I started thinning this stuff, uh, and even after I started thinning it, actually, but it, this sprays much better when I thinned it 20%, and this is thin 20%. I don't know if I said that. Anyway, what, here's the magic, the thing that I finally discovered. Doug Powell said your birds are really talking tonight. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah are. they are. It's spraying out here. Here is the tool that you want to have when you're spraying stuff like this with the critter. So what's happened, Jeff, and this is my, I'm pretty sure because this is exactly what happened to me, man. I had that same experience, almost identical to that same experience. And I'm tearing this thing apart, every piece apart, putting it back together, try it again and had exactly the same thing happen. So finally I realized what was going on. There were clumps down in, and, and remember that, that tube in the bottom of the critter sprayer now, I wasn't, didn't mean to do that. It's got a little hole in the top, but uh, the tube goes almost down to the bottom. So if there's clumps down here, and assuredly there are, uh, if you've got that on top, you've certainly got thick spots down here. And even with the, the uh, water-based halcyon, I would, uh, I had um, like clumps in there. So um, I'm not saying you have to strain it every time you use it. But if you haven't used, the, if you've got it sitting in a mason jar and you haven't used it for a while, guys, just get another mason jar, strain it. 
And the last time I did that with a Halcyon, I found big old clumps in there. And that definitely would have plugged up the tube and would have completely messed up my spraying. And since I've been doing that on a regular basis before I spray, I've had zero problems. So um, I don't use the Helmsman near as much as I used to. I normally use the Czar now or, um, or the, the Halcyon. I really like the Halcyon. And I know many of you are using the Halcyon. I haven't used it near as much as a lot of you have, but I hear really good things about it. And every time I've used it, now that I've thinned it down 20%, it's worked out really, really well for me. So um, I highly recommend the Halcyon. And the Helmsman is good too. There's nothing wrong with that. But definitely um, the thing about the, the oil-based Helmsman is uh, it will leave an amber tint onto your board. Now, in most cases, that's okay. But if you got any white that you're spraying this over, that could be an issue. It will be an issue. It will yellow, um, yellow your white colors. Anyway, uh, water-based hel uh, helmsman evidently doesn't have near the amber tint that uh, really loud. that the this stuff does. Yeah, they're. Uh, I think they're ticked off that we're out here. Um, so yeah, that's the big thing, guys, and that's what I told Jeff strain your uh, your materials before you start spraying it just um, that way you know you don't have to guess it and uh, it won't hopefully it won't get plugged up in your critter sprayer but that's uh, stuff that I I had to learn the hard way um, the other thing was that I told him is that when you're spraying the oil based uh, this stuff is pretty thick when you're spraying this if you if you're not thinning it you might kick up your spray up to about 75. That's what I've had good luck at doing. Now, once I thinned it, I think I am down around 50 if it's thinned. But if it's still full strength and you haven't thinned it, I like it. I like the way it sprays better with it when it's thin. But if you haven't, I'd uh, I'd go up to try it up at 75 pounds. All right, I'm ready. So Bob Rose says, have you seen a place where that has brushes for the rigid router? I have two. Some people are forced to buy different routers. Uh, the rigid brushes for the rigid router. Steve I, Trump said try e-replacement parts. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. E-replacementparts.com. They've got a lot of different replacement stuff. But other than that, uh, I would think that there must be some kind of a service place uh, hooked up through Home Depot because that's a Home Depot brand. I would think that uh, Home Depot could tell you where to get that thing serviced or buy parts for it. Don Spicer said he went to, uh, I think Lowe's, he said a 1 by 8 by 12 select pine is 75 bucks. 1 by 12 by 8. One by 8 Four. foot mm -hmm. is how much? $75. Wow. That is astounding. I think uh, when I buy it, I generally buy it four foot at a time and it's uh at a, for a four footer it's uh like uh last time i looked i think it was like <gasps> honey there's a hummingbird uh oh, look at, he's on yeah the it's crazy that? yeah he just landed on that branch that's um, cool don spicer says i found 200 292 90 board feet around 290 of rough cut cherry for 190 bucks today at a local hardware man Ooh, that sounds good 290 board feet? Yeah. Wow. Charlie says, well, two times crystal clear make your white paint yellow. At two, two times feet. crystal. Uh, it should not. It shouldn't, uh, Charlie. Now, I don't know that it won't crinkle it up <laughs> like you had issues with, you, with it in the past. But that I have put that over white before, and uh, I think it, uh, it shouldn't yellow it. But it's not exterior, or I don't. I don't treat it like it's an exterior finish. Carmen so. said, I just bought a 1 by 8 by 20 at Redwood Board. I had no idea I was going to spend $176. Wow. For Redwood. one board? Wow. Oh, my gosh. But I didn't think you could get Redwood down there, Carmen. I didn't, That's obviously I, why it was $176. Yeah, I didn't even think Redwood was available down there. Uh, wow. well, Carmen's down in Georgia, Georgia I think. I didn't even think Redwood was available any place but the West. That's interesting. But yeah, uh, Jeff Dale that's crazy. Said a few people have asked me but to let everyone know my youngest, Kenzie, had her surgery today. That's right. That's right. Her tonsils, tonsils. right? Yeah. And everything went perfect. Come on, you got to get the rest of it. Great. 
That's great. Great and news, Jeff. And she's now tonsil free. <laughs> <laughs> great news, Jeff. That's right. I forgot Congrats. she was having that today. Yeah, we talked to him yesterday. Um, oh, it was a specialty shop. Oh, you know, there you go. Oh, okay. Where the Redwood was. That's mm -hmm. why they had Redwood. Because they have it in there with the exotics, probably. Mm -hmm. Like it's Purple Heart or something. That's crazy. Wow. Okay. That was Nuts. Um, okay, yeah. That was... That's about that. Uh... Dad yeah. Powell says, I got 10 pieces of 18 by 24 oak out of a dumpster at a cabinet shop today. <laughs> this is a good price. Go. Yeah. That's a great price. Dumpster good, diving. Good for right? you. You know what? Good for you, Doug. That's terrific. Man, I got... Eric, shoot the bird. Uh, wow, that's all I can hear. I'm not at work loud in here. I know. and I Oh, there he is. He's such a tiny little thing, too, to make such a big noise. It's nature. Yep. That's All right. We like it out here. So, uh, look who's first on uh, sign carvers of the day. Jeffrey. Jeff. So um, he's making. Hi, Danny Meadows. Danny Meadows, how you doing, buddy? Uh, Jeff just, you know, you guys know Jeff just does amazing flags. Um, so this is kind of his niche. He's a well, now I, I guess he's getting into cutting boards. Mm -hmm. So he's a flag and cutting board guy now. But um, just, uh, absolutely, I wish the picture was a little bit better and, and I was zoomed in on one, but I thought this picture was awesome. But uh, great job, Jeff. Awesome work, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Nick Ward. So this is a toolbox top. 10 wow. foot by 2 foot by 2 foot. Wow. And uh, obviously it looks, well, it looks to me like he's got epoxy resin pictures. on it. Yeah, I think he does. Yeah. And I, I wish I had a better picture of the whole thing, but I really wanted to do a close-up on this. But, um, yeah, it's a 10 foot long by 2 foot by 2 inch toolbox top. Great job, Nick. Beautiful work, buddy. Uh, Br Blaine Kolstad, um, just starting out, only carved 10 signs so far. Wow, look at those. For only carving 10 signs, those look terrific, man. Mm. Nice artwork, nice That's color. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful <clears throat> work, Blaine. Awesome stuff, man. You'll sell a lot of those. Slow, uh, slower, slower. Just slower, focus. oh, I'm sorry. We just keep forgetting. Mr. Mr. Kim yeah. Anderson made this for his wife for oh, Mother's Day. That's cute. And it's cherry wood. Got our little Valentine girls on there. That really looks cool. Looks great. Great job, Kim. I like Kim. we did a little, a little uh, outset on that little flower in the heart. Yeah, I like that. That really looks nice. Great job, Kim. And Carrie Nelson. Oh, I love that. Third, third sign, um, and it, his first big one. But that's really cool the way that is. I like the way that's that. like a uh, laminated slap board. Yeah, it, it's. I, I don't know. He didn't tell me, that's but it, beautiful. it's almost like it's uh, like an old. Uh, I don't know, peach tray or something. Almost like an old fruit tray. But I love um, that. So this is the in, an instance where uh, using that tongue and groove would really work out because he's accenting. He mm -hmm. put those all together and he's accenting or the ship lap. If he's got a backer on it, so those uh, those lines actually add to the look of the sign. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, I normally think of ripping those off and gluing them up, but this is an instance where I think it really adds to it. So Charlie great job, Kim. Like, yeah. Who said that? Uh, Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> great job, great job, sign carvers of the day. Great work. So. Um, Tomorrow night we'll have another live, but over on YouTube. Dad should be here. Um, we've got some, uh, again, big projects coming up. Tomorrow you'll see another um, fun Zoom call with uh, some people that you might recognize. Uh, it was fun, and uh, I got it uploaded. I had to bleep out a couple people. I'm not, not me this time. I'm not mentioning any names, Jeff, but, uh, oh, I'm sorry, that just kind of slipped out. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, it was fun. I think you guys will enjoy it. It was, uh, anytime we get together with that group, it is crazy. I uh, can't wait for Minion Con 2022. It's gonna be fun. Um, 
Okay, that's it. Anything else uh, I need to address on there, Beth? Yes, said, Charlie, you can have the arthritis for this. <laughs> Charlie said, no mistakes this time, Eric. Uh, this time, Eric, I'll pay you for the unedited version. <laughs> <laughs> um, Frank says it was a fun call. Hi, Frank. I didn't even know you were here. It was a fun call. Yeah, we got a, a really good... Uh, um, a really good sample of Frank's articulation on his uh, speech. You guys, so uh, you'll know what I mean. Those of <laughs> you that said, were there. Oh, that was mild, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Um, okay, guys, I think that is it. We are going to move on with our evening. I'm going to go make guys... some ice cream. Yeah, Vicky's going to make some. She's got an ice cream maker. She's been going crazy making ice cream and frozen and sorbet yogurt. and frozen yogurt and uh, yeah, so. Anyway, uh, that's it. Thanks again, Stephen Frum, for all of the amazing You're gifts. Awesome. We, we absolutely uh, love it all. So you guys have a great evening. We will see. If you have any questions, obviously. Oh, I was going to say woman is the word. That's it. Um, so uh, another, uh, uh, based on, on what I talked it about tonight. It was all Matt's fault. Scott said it was all Matt's fault. <laughs> Go see, um, go watch this video because I talked about the the uh, this same kind of deal uh, on the helmsman and straining your uh, your medium for before using in your critter gun. Mm. This video that I just did last year. So Jeff, tell her to send it to me. I'm good with that recipe, blue moon recipe. Ooh, that sounds good. All right, that's it, guys. Charlie said good night. Oh, I'm going back to painting. And thank you, thank you, thank you for the inspiration, education, Eric. And thank you, Charlie. And Vicky. All, All right. right, you guys. Uh, so hopefully we'll see you tomorrow night over on YouTube. Uh, questions, let me know. And uh, keep up the great work. Keep sending me pictures, sign cards of the day. I've got a stack, but uh, I'm going through them. So keep sending me pictures. Only one a month, unfortunately, right now, because I do have a pretty big stack. But I love showing off you guys' work. I, I really get a kick out of it. It inspires me every time. So. <laughs> and Carmen says, good night. Enjoy your ice cream. Good night, Carmen. Thanks, good night, guys. everybody. We'll talk at you later. Bye. Bye, guys. See good you tomorrow. Greasy. Bye.